Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today let's take a look at AMD Vega Frontier Edition graphics card. The reason I am doing this is because there are not many reviews for this card on the internet. Maybe some reviews for games are there but not for DaVinci Resolve which is a program that I use. So I tested this card with my files and compared it to another graphics card. A little background story is that I bought this card a few weeks ago from online community in Korea. The guy who sold me this card told me that this graphics card is really good in video editing because of large and fast HBM type memory. And he also said that it is also great and faster than some modern graphics card in 10-bit video editing. However, I don't have any camera that shoots in 10-bit. So again, I bought Panasonic GH5S. As you know, it is a very popular camera and it is more focused on video, just like Sony's A7S model. The highest internal recording is up to 400 megabits per second and it supports 4 to 2 10-bit. For the testing, I shot three same clips at different bit rate. First clip was 4K 400 Mbps 4 to 2 10-bit. Second clip was 4K uh, 150 Mbps 4 to 2 10-bit. Third clip is 4K 150 Mbps and 4 to 0 8-bit. All these clips were shot in Vlog and two type file formats, MOV and MP4. So I have a total of six clips. Size of files are identical between MOV and MP4 group. I ran four tests with the files. First test was render the timeline with stock clip. Second test was add some color grading and measure the time to render cache. Third test, render the timeline with a color graded clip. Fourth test is same as third test but with render cache option enabled. The graphics card I used against the Vega FE was RX 6700 XT, which is the best graphics card that I have currently. The result looked like this. First test, rendering stock clips are similar in size with different encoding options, and the time was similar as well. Second test, render cache time was about 20% faster in RX 6700 XT, and the temperature and power draw is different as well. Third test, rendering color graded clips result looked like this. RX 6700 XT was about 20 to 25% faster. And for some reason, Vega FE's file size was more than two times larger and I don't know why this is. Fourth test, last render with render cache option enabled result looked like this. Again, RX 6700 XT was about 25% faster and Vega FE's finished file was larger, just like the third test. Also, just to check, I ran Red Dead Redemption 2 benchmark. All the settings were maxed out in Ultra with MSAA disabled. One note is that my monitor was 2560 by 1080, so please only look at the difference in frame rates. The result? RX 67 XT was about 1.8 times faster, which is almost twice at lower power draw as well. One secret to this comparison is that I undervolted the Vega FE, otherwise it goes up to almost 250 watts in some situations. Undervolting didn't really increase or decrease the performance, but the card ran a lot cooler than stock settings. My conclusion is like this. In 2020, Vega FE's pros are it looks great and it's all metal design. Uh, it's not an ordinary Radeon car, just like Titan model in NVIDIA side. Uh, it's 16 gigabytes of RAM may help when you push 4K clips. And it's a rare graphics card. Is it better in 10 bits? This one, I doubt it. Pros for modern graphics card, it is simply better performance and it draws lower power and it has better temperatures. Although I like the Vega FE's looks and its performance is okay in my use, I think I'll stick with RX 6700 XT because it simply runs cooler, runs quieter, and its performance is better than uh, Vega FE. And the reason I only have Radeon graphics card is because I also use Mac and I use these cards in uh, eGPU format. And hopefully in the future, I can buy NVIDIA card 
and compared to these Radeon graphics card and everyone says Nvidia card and CUDA works great in video editing compared to Radeon but they cannot be used in Mac so that's for another video and thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time